We interrupt your scheduled broadcast to take you to the World Network News Studio for a breaking news story. Hi, I'm Ed Winchester at WNN Headquarters, New York. Three weeks ago, the island of Tanoa was rocked by a magnitude 6 earthquake. The subsequent collapse of the economy due to the island-wide damage to infrastructure and commerce resulted in widespread civil unrest. Requiring the deployment of a UN peacekeeping force to restore order and allow the few remaining resources to be distributed by the local authorities. However, in the early hours of this morning to known local time, a magnitude 6.5 earthquake hit the area 50 miles off the coast triggering a tsunami which hit the coastline with a wave up to 3 meters in height. The resulting devastation to an already beleaguered nation has left the population with little shelter, food or clean water. We now join our Pacific correspondent Sheila Dundee on the island of Tanoa. Sheila has been embedded with NATO forces following a series of training exercises out in the Pacific and has been flown to the island with NATO officials. Thanks, Ed. Now it's fully daylight the horror of the catastrophe is starting to emerge. Earlier we were flown around the coastline and witnessed the extent of the devastation. Viewers are advised that some may find the images disturbing. The coastlines are littered with the debris of ruined homesteads, boats washed ashore, and the bodies of islanders and livestock. The wreckage and flooding along the coastal roads is making it difficult for rescuers to reach the survivors, and reports are already coming in of instances of looting, which added to the humanitarian efforts, is putting a huge strain on the UN peacekeepers. There is however a ray of hope. As part of the NATO fleet exercises is a specialist task force that I have been informed has the necessary resources to quickly respond with humanitarian aid. A spokesperson for this mysterious task force Athena, who wishes only to be identified by his operational codename Davros, has stated that TFA has access to substantial aid resources that are held for dispersal to anywhere in the world within 24 to 48 hours, as opposed to the usual two to three weeks that either the United Nations or International Red Cross can achieve. He also stated that the aid resources are already in the process of being loaded ready to be flown to the forward operating area, and mobilization orders are being relayed to the task force personnel. In the wake of these horrific natural disasters, we can only be thankful that aid for these devastated people is so close at hand. I'm Sheila Dundee for World Network News on the island of Tanoa, South Pacific. Thanks, Sheila. Details are still emerging at this time, and we'll bring you a full report in our main news show later. I'm Ed Winchester for World Network News New York.